Hola, bienvenidos nuevamente al fascinante mundo del español. Today we dive into the power and versatility of a seemingly simple word. De. Despite being such a short word composed only by two letters, it is one of the most commonly used words in Spanish. You will be able to hear it in almost every sentence when you're hearing someone speaking Spanish. Let's discover some of the ways de can be used. My name is Hope, one of your ambassadors for Spanish 55. In this channel, we provide you with some of the most useful tips and tricks to improve your Spanish like a pro. One word, only two letters. Yet, you will discover that the meaning of a sentence can completely change depending on the location of this word. The position within the sentence can represent a different form as follows. First, the expresses possession. It indicates ownership or belonging. El libro de María. María's book. Esta camisa es de mi papá. This is my dad's t-shirt. So, de cannot be used when we are referring to ourselves. You couldn't say, este celular es de mío. Instead, you would only say, este celular es mío. And what about the word del? Have you ever heard of it? When we're speaking about possession, this other word come into play. Del could be a contraction of the preposition de, plus the definite article el. It is used before a singular masculine noun and it indicates possession or origin. For instance, la camisa del hombre, the man's t-shirt, o este edificio es propiedad del gobierno. This building is owned by the government. De could also denote origin. It tells us where something or someone comes from. Un plátano de Colombia. A banana from Colombia. Mi amiga es de Portugal. My friend is from Portugal. Mi hijo viene de la escuela. My son is coming from school. De is also used to indicate the material or composition of an object or concept. Una mesa de madera. A wooden table. Un grupo de personas. A group of persons. Esta jarra está hecha de vidrio. This jar is made of glass. De can describe certain characteristics or qualities. Un cielo lleno de estrellas. A sky full of stars. Mi celular es de 64 gigas. My cell phone has 64 gigabytes. ¿De qué sabor quieres tu helado? What flavor do you want your ice cream? De is also employed to describe a quantity or a measurement. Un vaso de agua. A glass of water. Subí tres kilos de músculo. I gained three kilograms of muscle. Dos cucharadas de azúcar. Two tablespoons of sugar. De is used in a positive sentence to indicate a part of a whole. Un pedazo de pastel. A piece of cake. Yo duermo en el lado derecho de la cama. I sleep on the right side of the bed. Time and distance. You can also use it to indicate a range of space or time. La reunión es de las 3 a las 5. The meeting will be held from 3 to 5. De norte a sur. From north to south. Caminé de la iglesia a mi casa. I walked from church to home. Circumstantial compliments. These are phrases or words that bring additional information about the action of the verb. For instance, Voy al cine de vez en cuando. I go to the cinema from time to time. Ayer me caí de la bicicleta. Yesterday I fell from the bike. And lastly, here are some very short but useful expressions. De entrada. To begin with. De esta manera. This way. De todos modos. Anyways. Era de esperarse. As expected. Learning the various uses of de is essential for mastering the Spanish language. It is a very small word that plays a large role in communication. So next time you encounter de while learning or speaking Spanish, remember the different ways it can shape your expression. ¿Te ha sido de ayuda este video? Comenta en la parte de abajo de dónde eres y de qué color es tu camisa. In Spanish 55, we love seeing you growing and learning with us. Feel comfortable enough to get in touch with us if you need any personalized assistance or guidance. All of our tutors will be glad to help you out. 